Hello, everyone. Uh, in this video, me and Dr. Rubino will give a brief introduction of our project on the preparation of high efficiency and low cost ceramic membranes for the dairy waste water treatment. Uh, we would first thank the Dairy Innovation Hub for the financial support of this project. And we would also acknowledge the Pioneer Farm who provide a lot of details on the dairy waste water generation and also the current uh, treatment process. Uh, my name is Jordan Fu, and I'm an assistant professor in mechanical engineering at UW Platteville. Hello, everyone. I am Eduardo Rubino, and I'm also an assistant professor in mechanical engineering at UW Platteville. Okay, I would first give you some background of this project. So, in the in the in the uh, dairy industry, it will need a lot of waters. So, for instance. They will need the water to flush the ground in the dairy center and also to reduce the temperatures for the cow in the summer. And they will also need a lot of water to process the milk. So with this, for about 150 cows in the dairy center in, in the in Pioneer Farm, they generate over 3 million gallons of waste water each year. And those waste water has a very high level of pollutants. And, uh, they just leave those water outdoor, and this waste water will significantly influence the surrounding environment. And we know that the ceramic membranes can, uh, can treat the waste water to reduce the pollutants. However, the manufacturing process uh, of the ceramic membranes are really high. The, and, and here, we introduce a wood template method to reduce the manufacturing cost for the ceramic membranes. And meanwhile, for the, for the wood, it has a lot of aligned channels. And, uh, and, meanwhile, and meanwhile, there are some nanostructures attached to these channels. So with this, we design that the waste water will flow along, the, along those channels and the permeate perpendiculars with the channels. And the permeate water will have significantly low level of the pollutants. That's what we call the filtrated water. So as Dr. Fu mentioned, we are going to use these membranes to uh, filter the water. And we are going to also build the setup that we will use to test these membranes. So as you can see, the setup has a pump, pressure gauge, and flow meter. And the purpose is to uh, test uh, uh, the membrane with different values of pressure applied to the uh, membrane itself, and also with different values of, uh, of flow rate. And in particular, we will focus on the chemical oxygen demand, on the biological oxygen demand, on the total suspended solid, and also the turbidity of the water. So again, we will use this setup to, uh, to let the water circulate through the membrane and understand the influence on all these uh, parameters of the water. <clears throat> And with this project, uh, and hopefully we can develop both both fundamentals on the on the uh, on the uh, with the water permeated behavior in the ceramic membranes, and also for the application of the ceramic membranes in the dairy waste water treatment. And thank you again.